The day I went into rehab, the consultant rang my husband and told him he didn't know if I was going to make it. My liver was um, failing. I'm four months sober now, and I could never even imagine I'd be four days sober. If I go to bed sober and clean, I wake up sober and clean, that's another day. These are actually key rings. I got given that when I first joined the AA or CA meeting. And then I have my one week chip, 30 days chip, and I've got my 90 days chip. My next one will be six months. The great thing about the fellowship and meetings, it's free. The only requirement to attend AA is the want to give up your addictions. How bad was I? when you first met me. Your gastroenterologist had asked me to see you because of your difficulties. You'd always been a bit of a drinker and that was worse after your terrible time with a hysterectomy in 2014. Wine, Prosecco, vodka, brandy, and then you said you started to use a bit more Coke. This time last year, you were in a terrible state physically. Yeah. I don't quite know how you were still alive. Your liver function test was terrible. You've got alcoholic hepatitis, you're heading towards cirrhosis, like yeah. that's permanent. And um, one of the enzymes that we measure, gamma GT, should be about 50, yours was 2053. And then you said mentally you were feeling guilty, ashamed, depressed, that you were having blackouts. It happened and I have no recollection. It really is um, painful to think at how many times I would have put myself and other people into danger. For three years she wasn't part of our lives and the addiction robbed us of my wife and then also robbed the kids of their mum. So I think the nicest thing has been having her back in their lives. Michelle's on her 12-step plan and it's just interesting to see the journey she's going on. For me as a husband, it's nice to have my partner back and my best friend back. This isn't just my story, it's also my family's story. I'm really keen to talk to somebody who, like my family, has seen a loved one in addiction. Tell me a little bit about your story. In 2018, I lost my mum to stage four lip disease. She had had a long-term battle with alcohol dependency. When did you notice that your mum had any problems with drink? I would probably put it back to a feeling. You know when the room changes and it's almost like everything falls flat. There were points like that in my life, probably around the age 12, 13. That's when I fully understood what that change was. What kind of knock-on reaction did that have with yourself and your siblings? It's been a long battle. I didn't tell people what I was going through because I didn't want anyone to know and I, I became a protector of my mum and I also became a protector of my siblings and my family. Do you feel at all guilty? And I'm going to tell you, you shouldn't be, of course. It's incredibly painful. From the perspective of... A, say a child of an alcoholic, which I am, we hold the burden and we will hold that burden forever. My mum was amazing. Like she was the best person in the world. She would laugh really loud and it would fill the house with light. But what I have done is I've separated the person from the substance. And that is a very, very hard thing to identify. I couldn't save her, mm -hmm. which is a horrible thing to say. Yeah. But if we keep talking, I can help someone else. I am very, very proud to work for a charity called Alcohol Change UK. So I'm a community champion, which means I get to use my voice. My daughter's nine and a half. I hope that my daughter turns out just as eloquently and gorgeous as you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.